All right, in this short tutorial, we're going to look at using a monitor to listen to tracks so that um, you can pull up tracks and listen to them without them going over the air. Um, the, the way to do this is you, do, you definitely need two sound cards, okay? So I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to click on Sound Cards. This is the reason why you can select different sound cards for everything. In this case, you want the main, the sweepers, the voice track, the carts, and the auxiliary players to all use the same output, okay? However, the monitoring cue, you need to assign that to that additional sound card and maybe you got some speakers connected to it. And of course, once you hit, um, once you save that, you restart Radio DJ. Now, as you see, Radio DJ is playing, but you don't hear anything. So at this point, I can monitor anything. Let's say, um, if I highlight this, you're gonna you, below that, you'll notice there's a play button. This is what this play button is for. It's so that you can cue this without it going over the air. Okay. So you can highlight any track, play it so that you can cue and listen to it. Another place you can cue stuff is right here in the playlist. So, you know, you got all these songs in here. If you notice, there's a set of headphones, if you can see that. <laughs> there's a little icon. If you hover over it long enough, it'll say cue monitor. Well, when you click that, it lets you hear this track in that monitor output. And of course, you have to you have to click it to start and click it to stop. Okay, so that's a, a second way you can monitor. You can do it over here, hit this play button, and you can also do it right in the playlist. And that's not going over the air. Now you can also right click and do edit track. This is what this play button is for. This play button is for Q. so it doesn't go out over the air. You can also do it with the Q editor. The Q editor has a play button in two places, up at the top, and down here, the green play button. And you have to press stop to stop it. Another place you, you have Q um, functionality is in the track manager. In the track manager, you can select any track. Select any track, and down in the bottom left, you'll see the play button. Okay? And of course, you saw, uh, if you double click, it brings you back up to the track editor and the cue editor, all of which will allow you to cue something and listen to it without it going over the air. Another place you can listen to stuff is on the playlist builder. On this side, if you highlight a track and hit the, the green um, play button below, that sends that to the queue. If you're building your playlist and you want to hear something over on this side, just highlight it and go all the way to the right under the word heading Q or the column Q and click on the, the blue button. And that brings up the Q player or the Q editor. And you can listen to and, you know, make a decision if that's what the, the file that you want to use. All right. So I hope this is um, helped you understand the Q editor. You do have to have a second sound card and you have to assign it. It should be the only output that has a different sound card than the main and the other um, other outputs. All right, hope this has helped.